Thanks for checking out my updated submagic.ai review. Here I'm going to be giving you a demo, showing you how it works, talking about the pricing, as well as how you can even save some money if you want to test it out. Speaking of testing it out, you can do that by clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment to try it for free. And if you do want to upgrade, be sure to use the coupon code ILIN to save you a little bit of money. Let's get started right away. So when it comes to using Submagic, it's so easy to do. As you can see right here, when creating a new project, there's not a whole lot to choose from and that's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Let's generate some captions by clicking right here. All right, so what you wanna do here is find the file on your computer, pretty straightforward, or if you wanna try a sample video, you can do that on your own. I'm gonna find one on my browser, or excuse me, my computer, so let me browse very quickly. All right, and I have a beautiful backyard clip. So languages. English is gonna be for me. There's also auto if you wanna do it that way, but I will scroll through ever so kind of quickly here so you can see some of them. In case you wanna use a different language, Submagic is stocked with plenty of them to help you kind of translate that way, okay? There's a multi-speaker theme, so if you have different themes for multiple speakers, you can do that, and also translate captions if needed on the pro and business plans. Nevertheless, let's click on generate right here. All right, and when it's done, I'll get back to you, which will be very quickly. All right, and so here we are when it comes to the editor. This is gonna be where a lot of the, the magic is gonna be happening. So first and foremost, a little tip for you when you're going through, when you wanna just kind of preview some of the styles that you're gonna be using, just go ahead and make sure that you actually go to a spot where there's going to be the caption showing because if you wanna change your captions, let's say we go back to the beginning and you start clicking here and here, you're not gonna be able to see the differences. So just make sure you fast forward a little, go anywhere where you can see some of them and then you can actually go from there and start choosing Using, okay, so the ones here mean they're going to be available on pro and business as you can see and the other ones mean you can just use them anytime you want. I do like Alex Hormozzi's. There's one and there's two. This one looks a little bit bigger. And of course, aside from that, you can change them around and you can make a lot of different changes. And aside from that, something else I think you're really going to like is the fact that you can edit the captions. You can even customize it, you know, in particular. You can change where this is going to be. We can change the font size, maybe something like that. And you can also just keep going through and seeing how it looks. So let's say we wanted to do edit captions. You can go here and do that specifically. And from what I've seen, their AI captions accuracy is fantastic. Just kind of going through and looking very quickly. I will run through and show you the video once it's done, but this looks great. But let's say something was spelled incorrectly here. What you can do is just go in and do sub magic like that. And then you can go in here and delete this. And that's how you can change it around. So if you did your last name, let's say it's something difficult like mine, like Canzanella, you can just go in there and change it around. So uh, it's not a big deal if they add like a space in between. I, I think that's fine. But those are the some of the things that you can change if you want to change the captions. Now, we do have the customizing section right here. So if you are really particular on this, you can do that. You can change around the font family, the weight, if you want it to be all uppercase or not, the size, the colors, how many words are going to be displayed, where it's going to be positioned, the specific color. And what's even best, like once again, if you have a specific pro or business plan, you can create a theme so that you can just keep using this as a template. And I think that's really beneficial. So you can find one that you like, make it work for your brand and your colors, save it and just keep using it. Okay, so that's going to be the sections when it comes to kind of changing around the captions. Very easy to do there. Let's go to the trim section right here. So you may or may not use this a lot. Really depends on if you do a lot of your trimming beforehand. Like I just took one video very quickly, but something like this, you can click on here and just simply delete it if needed. Uh, if you wanted to go to a different section, once again, you can remove from the selection. You can also delete clips too if needed. So if you go to a specific section, you can split it there. Now that you have two of them, like you can delete a big clip that way. This is gonna be how you can actually trim specific spots. So if you wanted to remove something like that, plus there is the undo button, which is fantastic. Did I just say that we're the undo button? <laughs> the undo button is there, thank you, that's good for that. There is the ability to remove silences. Once again, this is gonna be with pro and business. And if there's any bad takes you wanna do, you'll notice that a lot of these are gonna have kind of the available on business and I'll talk about that towards the end when it comes to the pros and cons. Uh, just kind of let you know that depending on the plan that you pick, you may or may not be able to use some of these, but it really depends on your needs. Once again, I'll talk about that in the pricing and all the features when we round it up. Just kind of want to show you what's going on inside the editor here. All right, so let's now go to the B-roll section. So there's gonna be a few things that you can do here. There's gonna be magic B-rolls right here. This is pretty much gonna do the heavy lifting for you. So it can be a little bit hit or miss, but also there's not a whole lot going on here to give it information. So I will use it just to kind of showcase quickly what it looks like. 
Okay, and it says the percentage of magic. So how many of these do you want to do? Like 50% is just two of them. You know, 25 would be one based upon uh, how many slides you have, your specific scenes, excuse me. So you can also reset that. You can update it. There's also going to be magic zooms, which is nice. Kind of gives it that zoom in and zoom out effect. So let's click right here. And let's start in the beginning. Now, uh, I'm not going to play it all the way through. Just want to show you very quickly how it can zoom in and zoom out. Did you see that there, how it kind of like went forward and backwards? So it is cool that it can magically add that in there magically. It's a magic, it's a magic trick, but I'm just going to do reset. So that's going to be some of the magic stuff that you can do with the B-rolls and the zooms. If you just want to make your life easier, you can click on it right here. Like we would probably keep this one since at the beginning, not exactly an island. So let's say we want to do add B-roll. Let's do something like island. There are a lot of free videos that you can use here. It's also premium, movies, images, my videos, and so on and so forth. I think something like this looks good. Okay, starting frame, perfect. Change effect, you can add zoom once again. So let's say we wanted to play this. Beautiful backyard scenery from Florida. Not exactly an island, but it will do. All right, and what's also cool is say we just wanted to have it for not exactly an island, but we'll do. We can click on normally. And what we can do is split into new scenes. So now it's just gonna have not exactly an island, but it will do, and it will have this B-roll there, and then it will go back to what it needs to talk about. So let's start right here. I'm gonna click on play. Not exactly an island, but it will do. Normally and then it goes back to exactly where we need to go. So pretty easy to do when it comes to editing it. That is nice. We have some colors here, other things you can change, brightness, contrast, like if it's not gonna be, if it's too dark, maybe you wanna increase the brightness. And these are a lot of things that you can play with, like temperature, like I don't think you really need that too much, but that looks very green that way. Uh, you know, if you just wanna mess around with that, you can certainly do that. Let's just do reset. We have brand once again, this is gonna be something that comes with the business plan. So you can add images, you can add text, like this is gonna be good if you wanna add a watermarked logo, you can certainly do that. And once again, this is another feature available on Pro and Business, so it will clean up your audio to make it sound a little bit better in case you wanted to do that. Give it some time, it shouldn't take too long given the fact this is what a 14 second video. You can also add music if needed there. And of course, last but not least is going to be a cover. So this is usually gonna be the first specific image that you see. A lot of times you'll see on TikTok and Shorts, people will use like the, the smallest, time length of a video just to get that flash of it just to kind of showcase what it's going to be about so you can upload an image or select from a video there let's go back to the captions okay so the speech enhanced successfully let's go back here and not too long ago i did a review so i wanted to update this and someone said that i created a video and they didn't get to see the full after effect i'm like you know what you make a very good point like you generally want to see what it looks like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn up the volume and you're gonna be hearing the volume through my speakers, so that's the reason why it might not sound so clear. Also, when you preview it, it is gonna be low resolution, so don't worry about that. So let me turn up the volume. You can hear the 14 seconds of this. It's nothing much, it's just literally a video of my backyard, but give me one moment. All right, so the volume is up pretty high. Let's play it and I will stop talking. Some beautiful backyard scenery from Florida. Not exactly an island, but it will do. Normally that fountain is running strong in the background, but got to give it some more time for that. But this is just a test video just to kind of showcase how sub magic works. All right, so fantastic. I think I took off the auto zoom, but those are very easy to utilize. Captions were fantastic. If you wanted to change them, you can very quickly and easily do that. You can customize your captions, how they look, you can save them. And of course, there are gonna be some micro features that you can use here and there that we went over. With that in mind, let's talk about the pricing and where you can get a lot of those features when creating your videos using Submagic. All right, so the Submagic pricing plans. Overall, they have pretty good pricing if you ask me. So I am using the starter on this one. This is gonna be the current plan, which is $19 per month. Keep in mind, if you use the coupon code ISLAND, you can save even more on any plan that you use. If you wanna save even more, you get a 41% annual discount, plus you can still use that coupon code and save even more. So it's really gonna be up to you uh, how you wanna pay. And of course, always use the coupon code. I like saving you money. I like doing that in my reviews, I know, because I love saving money, so it's great when you get to use something to save as well. Nevertheless, so this is gonna be the starter. 15 videos per month and a max of two minutes for video. So if you have some shorts, uh, you're not doing exactly really long videos, that's gonna be great. Of course, no watermark, which is fantastic. You will get that if you just use kind of their free trial, of course, which makes sense. One team member, auto captions AI, free beat rolls and audio, text-based trimming, and you can export in 1080p. So moving on up from there, you're probably gonna wanna use this if you specifically need more than 15 videos. So are you doing like around a video a day? You'd probably wanna go with Pro here. You'll also get a max of five minutes per video. 
With this, you do get up to three team members. And now you're gonna see that some of the other cool features are gonna be added in here. So trendy animated captions, custom caption templates, you get story blocks, B-rolls, and audio. You can remove the bad takes and silences, which we talked about very quickly. You can generate AI hook titles. So this is gonna be a little extra feature. So there's probably not a huge hook for the video that I just created because it's nothing that's gonna really capture a lot of people's attention, but they will help you do that if you have something a little bit more hooky, in my opinion. Studio quality clean audio, so you can clean it up. Maybe there's gonna be some less humming in the background, some less annoying noises. That's the type of thing that you can do there and translate captions globally. If you wanna to go to business, 100 videos per month, up to 30 minutes. So if you need much longer videos, you can do that. And as you can see, you're gonna get other things here like custom words dictionary, add logos and brand assets. But in my opinion here, exporting in 4K is great. The custom template is, is great too, if you need more team members, but this is probably gonna be the biggest thing here. That's like around three videos a day, right? Plus max of 30 minutes per video. That's gonna be $69. Don't forget to use the coupon code ISLAND to save regardless of which plan that you pick. So with all of that in mind, let's wrap this up and get to the big question, is Submagic actually worth it? Now honestly, Submagic earns its name. This platform runs like a charm, it's user friendly, and the caption accuracy feels almost psychic. Add in a wide range of stylish captions, eye-catching hook titles, regular and magic b-roll plus auto zoom, and you're basically stepping into a content creator's playground that doesn't waste your time. When it comes to pricing, it's already fair, but toss in the coupon code ISLAND and you'll see the price drop even more. And if you want even the deepest discount, make sure you choose annual to save 41% plus the coupon. Now I will definitely admit Submagic does like to tease. Some of the fancier features are only available on the professional or business plans. And while I haven't taken the Magic Clips add-on for a spin yet, everything else already feels like a serious upgrade for anyone making videos. So if you're looking to level up your content without losing your mind in the editing process, Submagic brings the goods. You'll find a link below in the description or the pinned comment if you want to give it a shot. And again, don't forget to use the coupon code ISLAND if you plan on upgrading. It'll help you save a nice chunk of change. And that's going to be a wrap here. My name is James, and thanks for tuning into this Submagic.ai review, and I'll catch you in the next one.